Hello everyone, and in this video we are going to look at how we will code infectious and parasitic diseases. Now, I wanted to point out and remember that if we go to our official coding guidelines in the front of your coding manual, chapter C has our chapter specific coding guidelines. So the first chapter in the ICD-10 CM coding manual is certain infectious and parasitic diseases. So chapter one, we can see we start with guideline A1, then two, all the way to um, G1K is where we end. One thing that I wanna point out is chapter one, uh, G, the coronavirus infections, there's coding guidelines 1A all the way through K. So I encourage you guys all to read those. Also remember that the chapter specific coding guidelines are always in the tabular section of your book as well. So if we flip to chapter one, the infectious and parasitic diseases right here tells us our codes are A00 through B99, and then our new COVID code U07.1 is also here, so that doesn't fall in the typical range, that's important to note, but our guidelines are always here as well. They're actually a little bit easier to read, I feel, here in the infectious section, right before the tabular list of codes starts because of the color coding, it's just a little bit easier to read. So as you can see, all our guidelines are here, and then our specific COVID coding guidelines start right here again, same section, G1A through K. So with that, you look up your infectious and parasitic diseases in your alphabetical index like regular. One thing I wanna point out is if you're looking for a specific type of organism or infection, you want to go to the actual word infection and then to the organism. So for example, if our patient had a urinary tract infection due to E. coli, I'm gonna have two codes. I'm gonna have one for the urinary tract infection, and then I'm also gonna to have to code the organism that caused that infection if we know it. So in that, that example, if it's E. coli, I would come here to infection now you have to know the full name of your bacteria or virus. So E. coli is actually Escheria coli. So I would come right here and then it tells me as cause of disease classified elsewhere, which yes, a urinary tract infection. So my code would be B9620. So like always, I have three scenarios I want you to code. Then we're gonna go over the correct answers. So after each scenario, please pause the video then unpause when you think you have the correct answer. So the first scenario is our patient has botulism food poisoning. So what is the code? Unpause when you think you have the answer. So if our patient has botulism food poisoning, hopefully you came up with the code A05.1, which reads botulism food poisoning. Now to look up that code, we're gonna go to our alphabetical index. Two again, we always go to our main term, which is the noun or the condition. So we're gonna go to B, to botulism. Right here, botulism, and it tells me it's a foodborne intoxication, and it gives me the code A05.1. Okay, our second one. Our patient has sepsis due to MRSA. If you don't know what MRSA is, make sure and look it up, but I'll just tell you MRSA stands for Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus Aureus, and it's abbreviated MRSA. So what is the code for sepsis due to MRSA? Again, pause the video, unpause when you think you have the correct answer. So hopefully you guys came up with the code A4102, sepsis due to MRSA, which again stands for Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus Aureus. And how we found that up, if you didn't get that code, we are gonna go to S in our alphabetical index to sepsis. 
And once we get to sepsis, we are gonna pick due to staphylococcus and then methicillin resistant under aureus. So we go sepsis is our top. What kind of sepsis? Well, staphylococcal and staphylococcal aureus and then methicillin resistant and MRSA, there's our abbreviation, and we get the code A41.02. Okay, our last one for today in infectious and parasitic diseases is our patient has viral conjunctivitis. So again, okay, go ahead, pause the video, and then share the code that you have and compare it to the correct answer. So the correct answer for viral conjunctivitis is B30.9. We can see our tabular says viral conjunctivitis unspecified. Again, how did we look that up in our alphabetical index? We go to the name of our condition, disease or condition, which is conjunctivitis, and it was viral. So once we get to the topic heading conjunctivitis, we want to find viral and viral. We don't know what kind of virus, we just know viral, so we're going to pick viral B30.9.